Hey folks, Kyle Wilkinson here with Ellensburg Angler. Today is June 23rd of 2020. It's not quite 9.30 in the evening. I'm here on the Yakima River, just upstream from Um Tanum. Um, plan on getting off a little bit late tonight because I want to hit this caddis hatch. Uh, what we're doing right now is we're anchored up and I've got some fish rising off here to my left against the bank. I've been looking all night. There's been a little bit of a breeze. It was a hot day. There was some weird storms kind of rolling through. And so uh, the nymph fishing midday, uh, when we first put on was pretty good. Fish were really deep. They were taking like a pat stone, a hot spot pheasant tail nymph down really deep in the fast current on a drop offs. And they were doing good there. And then it kind of died down. I was looking for that dry fly bite. We had a few insects hatching in the afternoon. Saw some caddis, saw some PMD, saw some blooming olives. Uh, a few fish rising, got a couple to rise, wasn't super good. Thought it would get better here in the night. Um, we pushed a lot of water and now I'm here. Like I said, I'm seeing a few fish rising. I kind of figured uh, the last time I floated this, we were hitting this bank about 9, 30, 10 o'clock, right before we took off. And in the dark, when we could barely see our chubbies, there were fish rising. And that's kind of what we're experiencing tonight. So I'm just anchored up. There's fish rising right off the bank. I'm a little ways away from slightly upstream so I can get a good drift to them from a stationary position. Uh, I'm just going to fish a chubby Chernobyl. Uh, right now I've got a red on. You can fish a purple or a royal color. Fishing that like a seven and a half foot tapered leader. And then behind that, putting either a La Fontaine sparkle pupa, an El Caracatus adult, um, maybe a PT cripple or a purple haze, something to imitate a smaller insect. Because that's what some of these fish are going for. But you are going to see a few fish take that chubby Chernobyl. Now that chubby is going to serve as that one big fly for a fish that. You know, it's feeling pretty hungry might take but it's also going to help you see your flies when it starts getting this dark it's really hard to see your smaller patterns so if you have a big fly with a big white wing you can see that fly and if you see any kind of uh, rising action anything on the surface around that fly that might mean that a fish took your smaller bug so that's what to indicate you to set the hook it's almost like an indicator but for your dry fly rig that was a quick river report for you today like i said Mid-afternoon was kind of slow, early afternoon was good, and then the dry fly bite right at dark. Again, it's 9.30 at night, that's when it's starting to pick up. I'm going to go ahead and put this thing down because there's a fish rising right there. <laughs> We're going to go catch up. So, thanks for listening, guys. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube video. You can find that down below. That way you get notified every time we update the YouTube channel with a new episode. Also, make sure to find us on the Ellsberg Angler podcast. You can find us on most any podcast platform. But if you go to Apple Podcasts, it's a great way to leave us a rating or review. Let us know how we're doing. We're trying to put out a couple episodes a week. So appreciate you guys. We'll catch you on the next episode. I'm going to go catch that finish.